Let's play the outer world. Okay, we was in this room. As you can see, I don't, I don't know why we... Oh, he's awake anyway. But we don't care. We're going. Um, why is that there? I don't remember. Oh, stealed it. Oh, stealed it. I stealed it. Okay. That is worrying because you can't talk. Uh, the rat just got out. We'll take the bottle. Wait, we'll shut the door first. <laughs> in case anybody looks this time. Yeah, steel pig hey, fluid. That's what do you think you're doing? Uh, I shut the door. Bribe, lie, intimidate, whatever I want. Persuade. Uh, whatever I want. There we go. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. It's so easily... <laughs> Intimidation word used. Yeah, of course I did. All right, I don't want to talk to you. Let's get out of here. Um, I think I have to do something with the cantina. Uh, if I can remember where the... Oh, there... Was that the cantina? <laughs> Hello. Uh, wasn't there a gun there? You're not a big drinker, are you? Yeah, what? Who's, what's she saying? Oh, they're just chatting, okay. Um, is that steel? Oh, i got to steal it again. Can't I tell them to leave? <laughs> yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. Uh-huh. Right, first of all, let's just check my dob, job, dob list. Job list. Right, so I just swapped jobs to the hidden... <laughs> gun in the cantina in the bog um can i just go through any door didn't mind if i go through a door oh look um a stun bat on what's around here open i don't know but there's plenty of shit around here let's shut the door quick right it's definitely shut why did the last one open is she in here with me perhaps she's the one who opened the damn door what a bitch Okay. Steel. 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 Ludwig's bundle is over there, six meters away. Oh, I better go on the wrong side of the bloody book. Oh, see? That's who opened the door when I died. She opened the door and someone see me take something. That bloody bitch. Who she work for anyway? Oh yeah, me. Uh, nothing there. There is something underneath here. We'll take it because we are not nice people, basically. Right, what's up here? Anything in there? No, nothing. Anything on there? No, nothing. Oh, in the drawers there might be. Well, not anymore. It all got stolen. Somebody stole it. Sometimes I'm beginning to wonder about you. Um, nothing on here. Why is this? Is that a bed or something? I don't know what that is. Oh well. It's another door. That's leaky. I don't think I want to eat in here. Quick, make sure there's no one actually in here before you do this. Is this the bathroom? I don't know. Nope, I don't think it is. Okay. Just shoot that damn door. Bloody hell. Shut the door, woman. You'll get me killed. Right. Opened. Uh, we'll take some Vaseline. Right, there you go. I don't know if it was actually Vaseline, but... What's that? Steel cartridge. Okay. Oh, nearly went past that. I haven't found any um, lock picks. That's annoying. Anything on the bed? Why would there be anything on the bed? Me? Uh, belts? Nope, it's not very comfy. Okay. Right, where were we? In here. Hmm. Bar of soap. 
plenty of soap. Toilet. Is this the, this can't be the bathroom they're talking about, can it? No. So we go in this door. Oh no! <laughs> it's a balcony. We'll steal it. We don't know who's going to be looking at us up here. Could be anybody or everybody. Um, okay, so now we're going to walk on the roof because that's what normal people do, apparently. I've heard it. They say, go and walk on the roof. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's what's in there, this. I'm going to take it then. Now we got to get back. How we don't... Oh, yeah, it's okay. I didn't know I was going to make that. But where's she gone now? Where have you been? All right, let's go downstairs again. Check the other side. It's obviously on the other side. The place looks like it's falling apart. Uh, we can't steal anything in here because there's too many eyeballs. Let's just wait for the old bugger to go who likes to open doors after I shut them. Are you in? Get in. Oh wait, you can just yeah, move you over there. Sure. No. Okay. There. How do I move you? Oh, wait, you are moving. Hold. I'm going. What do you mean you're gone? Sure. On my sure. way. But no, not on your way. Just don't move. <laughs> okay. Is she moved? No, he hasn't. Okay. Let's open this door. I'll keep her still now. Um, there's nothing in here. Hmm. It did say bathroom though, didn't it? Does it mean an actual bathroom? Why am I supposed to open that then? Or that? Oh, got any luck picks on you? How am I supposed to find Ludwig's bundle? Wait. It says Lud a way to be in this bog, wouldn't it? Will it? Behind the toilet, <laughs> you knob. All right, let's pick that up then. All right, so that's the gun. Damn, place to stick it. Hope it's clean. Uh, we need lock picks to get in there. Come on, little girly. Oh, I've got to open the door first. Sorry. Uh, Ludwig Miller. Uh, uh, we might well, should we finish that job? He's this way apparently. We we'll load up. We're going to finish the job. Right, we're off to see Ludwig Ick. And um, is she coming? Oh no, she's still in. I thought I was going to stay, didn't I? Right. So where is he? The Bugger. Uh, you're over there. Right. Let's. Yeah, you're in the um, the docks, aren't you? I don't want to go down that way. It looks a bit mean. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely in the docks. We've got to go down to the docks. So the docks is coming now. Well, sort of. Is there a way down there yet? Oh. Oh well, let's just keep on going then. Let's run. Because running is good for you. Apparently. There he is. He's got a green light bulb on top of his head. Hello, mate. I've got your package. <laughs> In my hand. Shall I squeeze it now? <laughs> when I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. What? Now Didn't she say that last time? Oh, he just walked past me. Oh. It was her fault. Bring us honor, soldier. Yeah. Uh, I got that. I got that package you mentioned, or got a question for you. Hmm. Well, I, what is it? Go on. What exactly do you do here? <laughs> what you have against McCann? What exactly do you do I'm here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially. Officially. Unofficially. Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Yeah. You're also quite normal, aren't you? 
Right, find that package. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit. Designed what? to deliver a, a gun. lethal blast of electrical <laughs> discharge. Thanks. I call it the hand of the law. Well, yeah, you, you are sane. Flailing aren't you? around like a grounded fish, you stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. Right. Hmm. How do I use this exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Can I? Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Oh, what? Hey. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. I'm gonna go there. You'll need to get a passcode. Didn't from he the boss. mention something about the boss? He mentioned something about geothermal, didn't he? Don't worry about that. I already got a passcode from Reed. Yeah, Reed, that was his name. Okay. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related <laughs> to security. <laughs> I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Uh, Anatomically. What another job? It's going to be another is damn a logic job. Module. Okay. Seems simple enough. No, that's not good enough. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real <laughs> expert in the inner workings of the automaton. Nice. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Okay, but, yeah, uh, uh, okay. Am I supposed, how am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? Um... Perception. Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a co that one. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Yes, you do. I'm like grammaring. Uh, is that enough? Okay. How am I supposed to get one of these? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So right. you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Okay, and do what with it? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. <laughs> Could be a sympathizer. You're all bloody nuts. Okay. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Pour it out, or not drink it. Okay. So, have I got to fix this thing then? You open the door and I'll go in. There you go. Right, let me just use the workbench. Right, well, I think I did that. Logic module. Where is the logic module over there? Wait, have I got... Oh, the brain. Oh, the brain. Oh, the brain. Okay. Where is it likely to be? Is it going to be in back in here? We would no idea. So, uh, let me just change jobs a second. We're going to go back to the uh, next job, which is the fingers. Right, the fingers are selected. There is Bertie Cotton, uh, Doc Maybell, and uh, Gwillem Buffsum. Hang on, that's 4 and 65. That's 57. And that's 300. So 57 is where we're going to go first. We're going to come through here, reload, we'll go back through. Right, let's see if we can find... Um, wait, is he outside? Wait, I don't know where the green things have gone now. Oh, right, they're all outside. But we can use the other gate, can't we? If we remember where it is. 
<laughs> Not really. Okay. I'm sure it's over here. They're out here, right? So we're just using this as a shortcut instead of going all the way around at the moment, so it won't be long. Right, let's find Doc Mabel. I think he's the one in front of me now. Although that's changed up to 400 now. Wait, that's not fair. Bertie Cotton is 272. And Gwillem is 363. Oh, it's changed bloody size. What size is that? 390 and 227. We have to go for Bertie Coltrane now then. Because, well, apart from the fact he's closer. But it must have been just saying the quickest way was through the door, I guess. I don't know. So let's... um. You've got to keep your eye on that top bar. There's a red one in that position. Oh, right there. Right, how many are here? Just one at the moment. Well, hello, I'm here. Whoa, there's more of them. Yeah. Them's not lovable. Right, so we're back here. I've just saved it, so we're we'll going all the way back in there. Because it restarted me back inside bloody town. I can see one up there. Two. Three. Um, I need her to be busy. Let's go. She's go. gone after that one. No, you die! There's got to be another way around that. Alright, let's do different. He's over there, right? I think we're just going to sneak around. I don't want to tangle with them yet. I obviously don't have grenades or something that's going to do them in. I have no idea. Right, are they out of range? Because there's no red marks up on top of the thing at the moment. Uh, let's just cross over and find out. Bit of a cop out really, but until I'm, you know, hopeful that the bloody things. Doc Maybell, that's the one, isn't it? Oh, wait. Bertie Cotton is where we also need to be. Wait, where's that one then? Oh, crap, he's right there. So we're going to have to sneak about a bit. Dear, oh dear. Sneaking, sneaking. Not really a stealth game, as far as I can tell. The thing's over there, still waiting by the river. Um, Bertie Cotton is over the hill. I don't mean he's old, I just mean he's over this hill. Um, are we going to be interrupted by anything else? This would be a joke. Nothing red yet. There's 
movement going on over there. Um, are we still in stealth? Presumably I'm still in stealth, am I? Yeah, yeah okay. Um, there's a one person there, there's a dog of something down there. Hmm. Okay, we got one dog. A marauder, marauder, marauder lookout. Oops, get out. And yet another one. Hooligan. Yeah, it did say lookout. That says hooligan. There's the damn dog. We're just going to call them up here because it'll be easier. Um, I say easier, but not necessarily. Okay, after dying again, I must remember to save it before because it's a long way walk back and I've come back a different way. Um, I don't know how far this will shoot, to be honest. Is that the man I need? That's the bloke I need. So him is going to sit up there. I'm going to try zapping him. It should be electric gun, but I'm not sure how this works, so... It doesn't seem to do any different. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't know why you mean that. Nice. Are they dead? I don't know. <laughs> There's a red one over there now. Alright, we'll search all these rooms in a minute once we can make sure that everybody seems to be deceased. So where is he? Alright, um, what was that? Never mind. Let's take that. Um, of course now we have to find the dead body. Well, we take all that. No problem with that. I think I ought to save it now, don't you? <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to do a quick save. Right, let's pinch this stuff. It's probably already pinched, but that's okay. Um, yeah, all right, that's do. We don't know where anything is. Uh, but we've did a mental job. <laughs> uh, what do you got? We'll take it. That and that. And that. Can't she carry anything? Bloody hell. We've got to carry everything around here. Reload. Okay. Um, I came in that door, came in that door. So, what we need here is uh, a banana apple. <laughs> Whatever it is. Hmm. 
another one? Oh, it's empty. What are these? Don't know what they are. Right, so where... Um, hang on a minute. It's a different place, isn't it? Oh, no, there he is. At least it still shows him. All right, let's get up there. We can find a way up. Up. Don't fall off. And Bertie Collins' finger. So again, it saves. And now the next one is 543 or 200. Oh, that's the constable. I got to do all three fingers anyway, don't I? That's 324, and that is three uh, 500. So we're going to go for Doc Maybell. Um, excuse me, would you like to go over there? I'm going. That's that done. Moving. Right, so we're going to dock Maybell. That was pretty... Okay, once you work out where you got to do and where you got to go. What's he carrying? Oh, his gun. Okay. So here's Doc Maybell. Uh, we're watching out for red marks anywhere because, like, there. Oh, she down. Where is he? Yes, so am I. Oh, great. Right, so the autosave took me back to just picking his body up. Um, let's send her over there a minute. Can't do that. Why not? Because you can. Okay, moving out. Yeah, no. Piss off. Okay. We don't care. So we're going to jump. Oh, I just break my legs. I'm all right. No problem. <laughs> right. Let's go get um, Doc Mabry. I don't know how, uh, what's best to use them things on. I suppose, I suppose it's them. Um, how far up did we get to see them before we get in red? Like that one. Got it. Heads down. I'm trying to get him back out the way so I can save here. And then we'll um, have another go at it. All right, let's... Oh, this is so much trouble. Um, because there doesn't seem to be any way over apart from these buggers. Um, is there any way around them? don't know and is there any more if I go this way so where is he supposed to be he's supposed to be over there in those trees all right let's just see if we can find another way around here them things are a pain in the ass
Uh, I think we're clear of it at the moment. But there doesn't seem to be any way up, easy way up. So it looks like we're stuck with that. That's the bloody campsite again, isn't it? Oh well, looks like we're going to be s savagely killed again. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. If we're attacked, we're going to be attacked again. It won't take long. We'll probably die. Okay, um, I don't know whether we managed to get around these things. We'll just have a quick look. I'm trying to keep my eye on them and move at the same time. It's not easy, you know. How is she not being spotted? God only knows. <laughs> so, do they not come in this way, are they? No, right, okay. Let's just keep going until sometime um, the Gwillem thing is over there and this one's over here right oh bloody hell right back to the junkyard again Okay, well, if he's up there, then I've no idea where he is. What are they? Pit, what? A what he do? Are they nasty? Are they, <laughs> you know? I suppose we're going to find out. What the hell are they? They kind of are nasties. That's the last of them. Is it? Oh good. Well I got one. She must have got both. Right, so now we'll just pick up a couple of these things because we're gonna sell anyway. Some sort of wing. <laughs> oh, where's the others? Uh, how many was there? Four of them? I only seen three. Alright. I guess we're going this way, are we? We need to get to Doc Maybell. Uh, this is a road. Uh, I don't think it goes anywhere because that's around the bloody thing, isn't it? So, <laughs> that's where we're going. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave you here. <laughs> and, um, well, die next week, I guess. We'll just save here because it saves me going all the way back. And I'll see you later.